What is going on, everybody? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial, and it's going to be another realism one, folks. Uh, not too long ago, I posted this video here on how to install traffic lights around Blaine County. Okay, it added like four intersections, four major intersections where it added traffic lights. They're absolutely awesome. I use them in every single one of my files, every single one of my games. Well, this one is going to be traffic lights and street signs. And it's got some pretty cool uh, street signs that go with these, uh, with the traffic light mod. So we are going to um, install this. Now, if you're somebody that installed the Blaine County traffic lights from the video I posted before, you're going to be doing the same thing I'm doing. We're going to try to install this over that and see how it works. Chances are, if you're watching this video, it worked. Okay. Um, but I may be doing this for nothing and may have to do this install on a uh, clean copy of GTA so I can show everybody how it works. Um, with that being said, it is very similar. So there are two things we need to download. First off, we need the DLC pack creator. So go ahead and double click the link down below that says DLC pack creator. That's going to bring you to this page right here. Big shout out to Skylums. All right. So we're going to click download all right and we're going to click the green download again it should be very quick there it is and get rid of the purchase me box and minimize that next link down below is going to be blaine county traffic and signs go ahead and click that link that's going to bring to this page right here and it will tell you what's new 90 signs along us route 13 for realism Change the 35 mile per hour signs southbound to 60. Remove the Interstate 1 signs and replace them with US Route 13. No U-turn signs. Freeway entrance signs. Do not enter wrong way signs. Added stop signs. And much more. And you can see pictures where they added the do not enter. I think that's pretty cool. It again adds to the realism. Y'all know I love my realism, okay? So go ahead and click that blue download this file right there. And it will automatically start downloading for you. And that is it. We're going to minimize out of here. And now we have our two WinRAR files. We have our Blaine County uh, Traffic Lights and Signs, and we have our DLC Pack Creator. Now let's bring up the DLC Pack Creator WinRAR. Oops. There it is. And let's double click that folder. And here's what you're going to need right here DLC Creator.exe. Double click that. And there we go. This is the little box that we want. Now, let's see here. What do we want to name this? Whatever we name it, you have to remember what we named it. Now, if you name it the same thing I do, then you're good because you got this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to name it Blaine County, well, BC Signs. Let's name it BC Signs. Okay, guys and gals. Um, and it is going to be a map. Right, we got we got map or vehicle. It's gonna be a map. BC signs, BC S I G N S type map DLC list item. Don't worry about that. Create DLC, and I like to just send it right to the desktop. Click OK, and it'll tell you it successfully did it. Boom, and it's right here. If we double click it, there should be an R uh, uh, RPF in there. There it is. So we're good to go. We can exit out of this DLC pack creator. Um, we are all set with the WinRAR. Now, here's something I want to tell y'all. It's kind of tricky to remove these files, so I highly suggest you back up your game file, okay? If you have the room to do it, back up your game file right now before proceeding, okay? Um, it's simply by just copying your GTA folder and pasting it in your common folder, okay? So... If you're a Steam user, you're going to go to your disk drive that you have your game installed in. Program Files, Times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. You'll see your GTA folders right there, right? Now, if I go to mine, you see I got a bunch of GTA folders, okay? Now, you're just going to right-click it, copy it, go down here, left-click, right-click, paste. Your game will be backed up, all right? So keep that in mind because if this you know if you don't like it or it makes your game crash it's hard to take it out it's not hard it's just tricky 
All right, so let's go ahead and fire up our open IV. And mine is going to automatically start in edit mode. Thanks to our boy, Criminal Crap. Justice. Crap! <laughs> I, I hit the button twice there. See how mine's already in edit mode. If you want yours to do the same thing, just go to tools, go to options. Right here under default work mode. And here's my say read only. Just click edit and close. Okay. So here we go, guys and gals. We got the BC signs right there. Boom. There it is. Here's what we want to do. Bring up the Blaine County traffic lights and signs. WinRAR, double click that folder right there above the README. Actually, click the README too. All right, so this is this is what we want right here. All right, so we have our README. Okay. Um, now double click the Blaine County traffic. Well, let's go to the let's go to the pathway first. So drag and drop all files except the paths folder here. All right, here's the pathway you want to take. You want to go to mods, update, time 64. DLC packs okay now once you're right here you are now going to take this BC signs and you're gonna drag it and drop it right in here boom just like that all right already alphabetized it for you BC traffic right there now let's double click that double click DLC.rpf times 64 levels GTA 5 and you're going to want this one right here, bctraffic.rpf, not the metadata. All right, double click bctraffic.rpf, and there we go. Now, as you can see, we already have some files in here. Yours might say that it's empty, okay? Yours might say, you know, that there's nothing in here, all right? This is what I'm going to try to overwrite okay we're gonna see how this works now let's just keep the readme up there but let's go ahead and click our winrar double click the blaine county traffic light and sign folder and while you're in here right here where yours might say it's empty you're gonna highlight everything except the paths folder all right everything except the paths folder now these look like they're the same and they might overwrite it so i think we're good i think we're gonna be good so highlight everything except the paths folder, drag it and drop it just like that. Okay. And that is it for that step right there. We're going to go back to the readme and let's see, uh, open the paths folder and drag and drop all files here. Okay. So open. Okay. So in your WinRAR, double click your paths folder. All right, there we go. Now, let's go back to the README. Let's double click. Let's double click our mods to bring us back to the beginning. All right, now this is where we want to go with this. Mods, update, update.rpf, times 64, levels, GTA 5, and paths.rpf. There we go. These are the ones from the old, uh, from the old mod. Okay, you may see them. They may be in there for you too, but that's cool. That's all right. Bring our WinRAR back up, and you're gonna select one and then hit Control A to select all of them, and then holding your Control key, deselect that folder at the very top. All right, you want everything here selected. There's a lot of them. You want everything there selected except for this top folder. These are very important. These are what are gonna tell your AI vehicles to stop at your new traffic lights, all right? So we're gonna left click this, drag it right here, and let her rip tater chip. I'm gonna drop them right in. All right, might take a second. All right, so that is good to go. We are going to, uh, let's see, I believe we are all set with the WinRAR, so let's just minimize it for now just to make sure. Let's bring this up. So we did step one, uh, we did step two. Now we gotta add this line right here. Okay, so that's gonna be the last step. So go ahead and double click your mods folder again to start us at the beginning. And this is where we wanna go. You wanna go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, 
and data. All right, you're gonna scroll down right here to DLC list.xml. You're gonna right click it, click at it, and you're gonna scroll right down to the bottom. I don't know why mine does that. Let me just push that back into place. And here's what you're gonna do. On your last item line, you see how it says item DLC packs, and then it'll say whatever your last one is. You're gonna click right here at the very end. So you got your little text bar flashing and hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's gonna create a new blank line right there. Over here in the readme, you can see they added that line that we need right here. So you're gonna grab it from the greater than sign all the way to the less than sign, okay? Highlight exactly what I highlighted, all right? Right click, copy. Come back over here into your DLC list.xml. Left click, right click, paste, all right? You want yours to look just like this. If you do not, but here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing. We have to now change this right here. Okay, we're gonna change this, backspace, the word maps. We're only gonna backspace the word maps, okay? And we are going to put in B, C, S, I, G, N, S. You are going to name this whatever you named your DLC list. We named it BC Signs. So you want to make sure yours says BC Signs. He named his maps because that's what his DLC pack was. It was maps. We named ours BC Signs or whatever you named it. You might have just named it Traffic Signs. If you named yours Traffic Signs, then you want to put this right here. You want to match this with that. Okay? Plain and simple. So once you did that and it looks just like that, click Save. And we are all set with this. We can exit out of the README. Uh, we can click edit mode. We can go to file and close all archives. Exit out of that. Now, I highly suggest you restart your computer. Always helps open IV, get all the files back into where they got to go. And folks, that is it. I'm going to restart and I will see y'all in the game. All right, y'all. So here we are in the game and... We are actually out here in Blaine County, or in uh, Grapeseed. And what we're going to do, we're in a non-modded, uh, non, no graphic mod GTA. That This is a no graphic mod file. And wow, what a difference with vanilla graphics to uh, running the other graphic mods that we run. Um, okay, so we're just going to fast travel to these locations. I'm not going to want to sit here and drive to each and every one. We're just going to check out a couple so we're gonna have our new traffic lights right here as you can see there they are if you installed the last one they are still there and we're gonna see make sure they still work so we're gonna look for a vehicle here he comes and okay that's okay so that light turned red that one turned green and this truck should stop and he didn't okay this car stopped he stopped but that guy went right through that red light. Uh, all right, that's cool. So uh, we have that traffic light. Um, then we got the one right here at this intersection, as you can see. And then we have the one right here at the freeway. So there's the third one. And I believe there's one down at that end too. Oh, let's see. There should be a new sign here, too, that says, uh, do not block the intersection or something like that. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to look for the new signs. I don't see it here, but, um, and yeah, I believe there's a new traffic light at this intersection as well. Yep, there is one here. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, let's see that. Oh, that looks like it might be a new sign. I don't, I don't recall seeing that sign. Yep, do not block intersection. That's a new sign. Um, and then there's a traffic light down here. Uh, I believe it's right here by the motel. On Route 68 in Joshua. Yeah, see, there's a traffic light there. And this one is a great traffic light because it, it's really helpful, believe me. Um, so now there should be... Uh, maybe on 68 where you get off at 68 or Joshua. Which road is this? This is Okay, so look at that you got a freeway entrance sign you got the, your freeway entrance signs right there And then there's the do not enter signs right here 
so that's pretty cool so we know the signs took there's a stop sign right there they probably won't listen to the stop signs though <laughs> and of course we have them added on this side too stop sign there do not enter sign right there is that sign new this one right here to my left what is that no that's not new that's been there so you can see the signs did work there's freeway entrance right there now i could sit here and drive forever and see where all the new signs have been placed but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that just go ahead and uh that looks new kind of little uh just go ahead and just patrol and you will see all your new signs that looks new i don't know if that's new so that's the problem with these mods some you know definitely are new others you're like eh, is that new so uh you know just go on patrol see all the new signs in that they are out there folks um those squiggly lines i don't know if those are new they may or may not be uh, but that is going to be it. So if you installed the last Blaine County traffic light uh, video that I posted a month ago, you're good. You can follow this tutorial. My game did not crash. I restarted my computer. It fired right up. No issues, folks. So whether you have that old the other uh, traffic light mod that we did or not, this tutorial will work for you. If you liked what you've seen here, help other people out by smashing that like button and putting this video out there so other people can enjoy Jesus. So other people can enjoy this wonderful mod. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for your boy and ring that bell so you know new content is added. We have surpassed 3,500 subscribers and I could not do it without you all. Let's get big together, everybody. I love y'all so much. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all. Peace.